what's up guys so after yesterday's ride we got to do some work to this thing not too much a couple things to show you guys number one we lost the head pipe in the trails the flange actually broke right off so we're going to replace that running the last half mile or so home we melted the fan we're going to replace that because that doesn't work uh, we need to weld the frame we're going to finish that weld we just got to get under the skid plate I want to put my newer rear shock on it's a little stiffer so it'll make the the ride a lot better we have to change the rear rotor and do some new pads and we also lost front brakes so we got to check maybe I got a leak because they pump up and then they go so we're gonna check that um I think that's it guys so uh let's get rolling first thing we're gonna do we're gonna remove that skid plate take care of the welding first and then we'll bring it inside and then uh Take care of the header, the fan, the shock, and then uh, get the brakes all straightened out, guys. All right, so let's get going. All right, guys, so we welded it up quick. You can see I'm no uh, expert welder. I just boogered the hell out of it right around there. All right, so we had that one. This was the first one that cracked last year, which that one's been holding. But then we saw a little crack right here. And then we had another one right in there. Um, and it's still, like, I'm still, when I'm wiggling it, I'm still feeling play. But uh, we actually have... We actually have my frame from last year that only needs a frame rail, which I can take off that. I'll show you guys this frame. I think we're going to do a frame swap next week. We're going to ride this thing one more one more time uh, Sunday. And then we will swap it, swap it to this one, guys. So look, this one has no welds except one. So I had one little crack here, and I can probably clean this up. And do a little better job because that's kind of crappy but it had one little crack there a little stress crack it looks like there's a little crack there which i could hit that um this bracket looks fine i think in uh i'm thinking guys we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna use this frame the stem bearing in there is good because this was from the race bike 
the frame rail's cracked. We can steal that one frame rail. I think that's what's gonna have to happen, guys, because this frame is just, it's to the point now where it's, it's, it's moving so much, it's just, it's tweaked. So we're gonna ride it Sunday. That'll be the last ride. And then next week we will swip it, switch it over to that one. And uh, that should last us a while. And then, like I said, once I get all those other parts, um, we will do a fresh new build for this bike. So uh, the welding's done. Let's move on to the other stuff.
all right guys that is a wrap for today um we didn't bother doing the shock because like i said before next week we're gonna we're gonna do a frame swap that frame is mint with that one little tiny little crack i'm gonna swap the frame put that one frame rail i believe it's that one back on that frame so we'll do the rear shock then and all that no sense in wasting time doing it now so well we just got to do the skid plate we'll probably just do that tomorrow and when i was washing the quad we blew off one graphic so i do have a replacement i'll throw that on tomorrow that's really dirty don't pay any attention to that um so guys if you notice throughout the time lapse this kicked my ass big time not only did the, the brakes didn't work at all like i couldn't even get the axle nut off while holding i had to put it back on i figured the axle nut usually the axle nuts after riding for a while they loosen up a little bit so i figured it would be nice and easy but i haven't taken that one off in a while couldn't get it off heated it up had to put the caliper back on and that thing was so bad guys it was it wasn't giving me any kind of braking power so ended up just getting a you guys saw i bent the screwdriver got a little stronger piece of steel heated it up more got it you know hammered it got it loose but the caliper bracket the caliper and the rotor all trash guys so uh i had spare not a big deal spare spare rotor spare caliper and uh we still have a nice fresh brake lever which when i do the frame it's got a little dent in it but this one's a lot worse actually maybe it's about the same but uh we could probably just change that so then as i was finishing up the front end um i think one of my lines just got hit so I just tightened it up. So far the front brakes, I got pressure. It hasn't gone away yet. So we'll just have to see how that goes. But as I went to put that tire back on, we had a good amount of play. So the wheel bearing was starting to go. So I had some all ready to go on the shelf. Uh, we just swapped that out, put the header on, put a new fan on, uh, did the welds. I think that's it guys. So, uh, We'll start her up for you guys, just so you can hear her, and she's nice and quiet now. Woo! Much better. Much, much better. She's cold, but uh... So that's a wrap, guys. We tightened everything up on the engine, even the engine mounts. I mean, this thing, it's, it's tweaked so bad, guys. So, last ride for this frame Sunday. Next week, we'll swap it out, and that'll hold me over long enough until i can get the other one going um and uh maybe i'll video that maybe not if you guys want to see that it'll probably just be time lapse if you do drop it in the comments uh if you're not yet please subscribe like this video and we will see you guys for sunday's ride thanks for watching guys peace